So the next part of our Selena Gomez uh, Love You Like A Love Song video clip transformation is of course the hair. Now she has, the only way you could describe it is massive hair. It's big curls, it's not even sort of full curls, it's like brushed out, buffed, curly, curly hair. Now it's likely that she probably used extensions to get sort of that much volume. I don't have extensions in, this is just kind of my hair and the bottom half is always thinner than the top because I've got layers and things. But I am going to try my hardest to get as close as possible as I can to that look and to do that I'm going to first have to curl my hair in sort of really tight, small curls that I can then brush out and buff out hopefully um, to get that volume that um, I need to recreate this look and hopefully um, show you how you guys can recreate this look. So to prep our hair I'm going to take some dry shampoo. Now dry shampoo isn't only used to um, soak up oil but it can also give you a little bit of volume and since my hair is second day hair I'm going to use it sort of for both. So shake it up slightly and I'm just going to spray it over the top, lifting it up at the roots, spray, spray, spray. Now dry shampoo actually also gives you a little bit of texture to your hair. And I've actually read like um, sort of celebrity hair tutorials, things on people's blogs where they sort of interviewed the, um, the celebrity hairdresser and they've actually talked about the spraying dry shampoo on their hair person's hair just for the sake of it because it does give you that um, sort of texture and it can give you help give you volume so like I said spray that on your hair you can actually also spray it down on the ends it is harder when you've got dark hair and if you can get one of the ones that are brown um, colored which I have used before I just don't have any at the moment that um, would be helpful also but just give it a second to absorb in your hair give it a couple of minutes I'm gonna wait a second and I'll be right back Okay, once that's had a chance to sort of absorb, I'm going to then brush it out. So just brush your hair, brush out any of the knots, and brush that um, dry shampoo through so you're not left with sort of any white patches anywhere. Another thing that you could do is spray some root lifter into your hair and then sort of blow dry your hair upside down to give you a little bit of extra volume. I don't have time to do that today but that's just something else that you could potentially try if you wanted to recreate this look. So we are going to basically just curl our whole head. I am using my, um, I have been saying this is a 1 inch but it's actually 18 mils, which I think works out to be 3 quarters of an inch curling iron. Um, you could use sort of hot rollers, but I actually don't have any that are small enough. We're looking for a lot of curl, and you need them kind of quite small to get enough volume to then brush out. So I think sort of the biggest curling iron you'd have would be about a one inch, a three quarter inch would be good. And this will take a while to do if you do, especially if you've got a lot of hair, if you've got long hair, um, it may take you a while. So just be prepared for that. And I'm going to start curling my hair, show you what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go away and come back. Otherwise, this video would probably be like half an hour long. It probably already will be. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that. But again, you can use a normal curling iron. You don't need one that's not clamped. Um, a clamp will work just as fine. Whatever you have to use. Uh, I did try originally with using a flat iron, but I found that it didn't give me enough curl to get this volume. I'm still not sure if I'm going to get as much volume as her, but you can use really whatever is available to you. You can always have do the similar curls and just have less volume um, if you want to recreate this look. It'd be a lot more wearable. Hers is not something that you wear every day. So we're just going to use that. I'm also going to take a little bit of heat protector spray. So I'm just using the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Protective Spray. I'm just going to spray that all over my head. And then I'm going to brush that through also. You also might like to have a clip handy because it's probably going to be easier if you section your hair. So I'm going to take the first bottom section by sort of going just behind my ear, going all the way to the back, and then twisting and clipping that up. 
And if you see me look down throughout this video, it's because I've got a mirror placed under there just so I can see what I'm doing so I don't sort of do anything crazy or burn my face or anything like that, which has happened before. I have burned my face, so be very careful when you're using a um, hot iron, a curling iron, anything that anything really hot as these do get near your face because it really hurts. Okay, so I'm going to take the first section of hair. I'm going to keep these sort of fairly small. You can kind of alternate and get sort of bigger and smaller, but try and do, try and keep it kind of small to keep them fairly tight. And I'm just going to place this and I'm going to wrap it flat. So you want to keep it flat. I've done a tutorial before where I've had it curling around the iron and twisting. This time we want to keep the hair flat. We're going to alternate to having some curling away from the face, some curling towards the face. When you do get to the top sections, I did notice Selena, her part actually had it curling towards the face, which is kind of odd. Usually, whenever you do your hair, you should curl away from your face, but just if you want to sort of keep it as close to her hair as possible, she does have these curls coming towards the face, but sort of mix it up. And basically you'll try to get a curl like this. I would suggest spraying it quite often. I'm going to be using uh, L'Oreal's L Net Satin Hairspray Supreme Hold Very Volume version. And you can spray as you go. I'd probably sp spray each section just because we really want this curl to hold as well as we can. So you can give it a light mist. So I'm just going to show you that one more time. So grab the hair. Hold the curling iron flat and you want to keep the hair flat against the curling iron. Be careful, keep your fingers moving so you don't burn your hands. And if you're new to using these kind of things and you get a glove, use the glove. The other thing too is that we want to try and get it as close to the root as possible, which that was a bad demonstration. So I'm going to finish off curling my hair and then I'll come back and show you how to manipulate it and do the rest of it. Basically, you just want to continue what we've been doing for the entire head. So I'll see you soon. After about half an hour, and if you're anything like me, a whole lot of burnt fingers, you should have something that resembles this. Kind of almost poodle-like, maybe not quite. So after you've got this, the first thing that we are going to do is literally tip our head upside down and give us a good spray of hairspray. And while your head's upside down, just scrunch your fingers through your hair and then flip it back over. So I already have my hair sort of parted on the side. I know Selena has hers parted on the side and then has some pinned back. So the first thing that we're going to do when I find my comb is we are going to give ourselves a little bit of volume at the crown by doing some teasing. So you're just going to take the hair, separate it the best that you can. You might struggle a little bit because it has been curled. That's okay. We want to separate the curls. We're going to need to. So lift it up and just back comb all the way down the hair. Comb, comb, comb. And then you can lift up the next layer. Try and separate it out. Do the same again. You notice when you actually watch her video clip, her hair actually does look kind of 
frizzy in parts. And doing a little bit of teasing, we're going to do a little bit on the sides as well. Will help with that look. Also, when you're curling, don't worry as much about the ends if you've got like little bits and pieces that have straight ends because. I was looking at the video clip and a lot of her bits have like comes out at kind of straight ends so that's totally fine as well. Lift up, back comb, back comb, back comb. As you can see I'm just kind of doing this all over the place. There's no sort of real rhyme or reason to it. I'm just kind of going with it to try and get us a little bit of volume. Most of her volume is out here. It's not so much at the... Um, roots like you can see like she's got like all this volume here which is why extensions would help but just a little bit at the roots just to balance it out okay the next thing we're going to do is brush out our curls a little bit now the, probably the best thing to do this would be a bore bristle brush that looks something a little bit like this it's one of the ones that have that kind of um like this would be like a normal brush which has just got like the normal plastic little things that brush through your hair and this one's got more like they're like split and fibrous I'm guessing most of you know what this is I'm sorry I'm explaining it but basically we're going to do that we're just going to brush through we're going to brush down first and then we're actually going to brush up so you can actually like go through and pick sections and just brush it out so we get sort of that big buffy as you can see Curl. We also want to take away some of the structure that we have um, from those curls. And as you can see, look, already we're, we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting a bit more volume. Brush, brush. Really concentrate on trying to get some volume at the root, sorry not at the roots, at the tips of your hair because like I said, that is where most of her volume seems to sit. And as you can see, if you go back and watch the clip, a lot of her curls aren't really intact anymore. You can tell that her hair has been curled but it basically just becomes a bit of boof. Um, so once you've done that, give it another spray. And you can really just keep on combing until you get the volume that you want. <laughs> like I said before, this is probably more of a fashion look or maybe even like a party look. It is definitely not um, something that you would wear every single day or I'm guessing not. You never know, some people might, which is totally fine, but for me... This much hair is just a little bit too much. Okay, once we've got that, um, you could run some sort of styling cream through it just to give it a little bit more hold. Something that I forgot to mention earlier that you can do to give your hair a little bit more texture is use like a sea salt spray or this is Tony and Guy's um, Beach Curl Spray which you could give your hair a little bit of a spray if you sort of want a bit more of a crunchy look. And just sort of give it a little bit of crunch just to, again, more volume, anything to give us more volume. And just to finish off the look, I'm going to use some of Herbal Essences Tussle Me Softly Tussling Spray Gel. Now I'm going to actually spray some of this into my hands and I'm just going to use that. Because the look that Selena has definitely isn't sort of one that's sort of sh sleek. It is more sort of big and buffy, but this will just give us a little bit of hold. And you can sort of spray it up top. Okay, and the last part of Selena's look is that she does have this part of her hair pinned back just ever so slightly, just kind of like that. So I'm going to take a couple of bobby pins, just get some ones that are closest to your hair shade and just 
grab the hair, you don't really have to do much, and just stick some bobby pins in it. And just give it one last kind of play, a bit of a mess around. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and this part. I know the hair was definitely a lot harder and required sort of a lot more time than um, some other hairstyles that I've done before. But hopefully it was worth it. I don't know how I'm going to get all this out now. I'm going to go have a shower and try and get this volume down. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you do try this look, either the makeup or the hair or both, send me a twit pic, send me a picture, I'll put it on my Facebook page, whatever. I would absolutely love to see it. I'd also love to know what is your favourite look in the video clip. If you haven't watched it, I'll link the video clip in the bottom bar below. But which one's your favourite? I think I like the part where she's sort of in the corset dress and she's hitting the... Um, called the big heart um, I'm having a mind blank on what they're called and then the lollies fall out usually at parties anyway you know what I mean so let me know what your favorite look is and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned and subscribe for more tutorials coming very soon I'll talk to you guys later bye pinata that's the word I'm looking for which is hitting the big heart-shaped pinata